నమస్సర్వేభ్యహ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు ద కోర్స్ ఫండమెంటల్స్ ఆఫ్ అసిద్ధత్వ ఇన్ పాణినియన్ గ్రామర్ ప్రెసెంటెడ్ బై వ్యోమ సంస్కృత పాఠశాల దిస్ ఇస్ ద ఎయిత్ సెషన్ ఆఫ్ ద కోర్స్ టుడే వి విల్ సీ అనదర్ ఎక్సెప్షన్ టు పూర్వత్రా సిద్ధం విచ్ ఇస్ రిగార్డింగ్ నలోప యేనాక్షర సమాయమధిగమ్య మహేశ్వరాత్ కృత్స్నం వ్యాకరణం ప్రోక్తం తస్మై పాణినయే నమ వాక్యకారం వరరుచిం భాష్యకారం పతంజలిం పాణినిం సూత్రకారం చ ప్రణతోస్మి మునిత్రయం ఇన్ దిస్ కోర్స్ వి హ్ బీన్ ట్రయింగ్ టు గెట్ అన్ అండర్స్టాండింగ్ ఆఫ్ ది బేసిక్ కాన్సెప్ట్స్ ఆఫ్ ద వేరియస్ కైండ్స్ ఆఫ్ అసిద్ధత్వ విచ్ ఆపరేట్ ఇన్ paninīya vyākarana the first and the most important kind of asiddhatva or the most important sutra for asiddhatva is uh, purvatra siddham purvatra siddham we have seen in detail including the two uh, components to its meaning uh, sapada saptadhyayim prati tripadi asiddha and tripadhyam api purvam prati param shastram asiddham syat we also saw examples for each of these cases now we are trying to understand what are the conditions in which purvatra siddham does not operate even though the uh, uh, related sutras may be in tripadi we saw the first exception which is the utsarga apavada bhava so if an uh, apavada sutra is located uh, later than the utsarga sutra in the tripadi it is still not asiddha that is purvatra siddham does not operate between utsarga sutra and apavada sutra because if uh, the apavada happens to be asiddha to the utsarga then it cannot operate anywhere and the sutra itself would be vyartha so today we will see another exception to purvatra siddham uh, which is directly given by a sutra after purvatra siddham so before we understand that uh, let us do a quick recap of this sutra which we saw earlier in the context of uh, asiddhatva itself nalopa pratipadikantasya so this is a sutra a vidhi sutra which is located at the beginning of the tripadi pratipadika samyakam yat padam tadantasya nakarasya lopahasyat so wherever there is a pratipadika ending in nakara which also has pada samya because the pratyaya has been uh, deleted by pratyaya lakshana it still has the pada samya so in such a context the nakara is deleted by this sutra say rajan becomes raja in the uh, prathama vibhakti ekavachana form of rajan shabda the supratyaya there is an upadha dirgha and then the supratyaya is deleted so we have rajan where the nakara is deleted to become raja similarly in gunin gunin shabda prathama vibhakti ekavachana supratyaya also there is a dirgha and then sulopa now by nalopa pratipadikantasya the nakara is deleted to give guni okay now there is another sutra called supicha so supicha is a sutra which is in the uh, sapada saptadhyayi as you can see it is in the angadhikara 7302 so it comes immediately after ato dirgho yai so adantasya angasya dirgha hasyat yayadau supi pare iti sutrartha an adanta anga an anga ending in hraswa akara like say rama when it is followed by a sup pratyaya beginning with a yai letter yai is a pratyahara the yakara of hayavarat lan nyamanganam jabhanya so till there we have the yanya pratyahara and bhyam is a yanyadi supratyaya so when an adanta anga is followed by a yanyadi supratyaya there is a dirgha for the anga so rama bhyam becomes rama bhyam so this supicha operates for 
ಹ್ರಸ್ವ ಅಕಾರ ಅಂತ ಅಂಗ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಅ ದೀರ್ಘ ಸಿಮಿಲರ್ಲಿ ವಿಚ್ ಅವರ್ ಲಿಂಗ ಸೆ ಫಲಭ್ಯಾಮ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಫಲಾಭ್ಯಾಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೋ ಆನ್ ನೌ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಕಾಂಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ವೇರ್ ವಿ ಗೆಟ್ ರಾಜ ಭ್ಯಾಮ್ ರಾಜನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾತಿಪದಿಕ ಭ್ಯಾಮ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಪ್ರತ್ಯಯ ದಿಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರಾತಿಪದಿಕ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ಪದಸಂಯ ಬೈ ಸ್ವಾದಿಷು ಅಸರ್ವನಾಮ ಸ್ಥಾನೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಡೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ರಾಜನ್ ಇಸ್ ಪ್ರಾತಿಪದಿಕ ಸಂಯಕಂ ಪದಂ ತದಂತ ನಕಾರ ಲೋಪ ಸ್ಯಾತ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಡಿಲೀಟ್ ದ ನಕಾರ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ರಾಜ ಭ್ಯಾಮ್ ನೌ ದ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಇಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸುಪಿ ಚ ಅಪ್ಲೈ ಇಫ್ ಸುಪಿ ಚ ಅಪ್ಲೈಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ರಾಮ ಭ್ಯಾಮ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ರಾಮಾಭ್ಯಾಮ್ ರಾಜ ಭ್ಯಾಮ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ರಾಜಾಭ್ಯಾಮ್ ಬಟ್ ವಿ ನೋ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ರಾಜ್ಞ ರಾಜಭ್ಯಾಮ್ ರಾಜಭಿ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ದೀರ್ಘ ಸೊ ಹೌ ಡು ವಿ ಪ್ರಿವೆಂಟ್ ದ ದೀರ್ಘ ಬೈ ನೌ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಪ್ರೆಟಿ ಆಬ್ವಿಯಸ್ ಸೊ ರಾಜನ್ ಭ್ಯಾಮ್ ದ ನಲೋಪ ಇಸ್ ಬೈ ನಲೋಪ ಪ್ರಾತಿಪದಿಕಾಂತ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ತ್ರಿಪಾದಿ ಸೊ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ತ್ರಿಪಾದಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸುಪೀಚ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸಪಾದ ಸಪ್ತಾಧ್ಯಾಯಿ ಸಪಾದ ಸಪ್ತಾಧ್ಯಾಯಿ ಪ್ರತಿ ತ್ರಿಪಾದಿ ಅಸಿದ್ಧ ಸೊ ಸುಪೀಚ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ರೆಕಗ್ನೈಸ್ ನ ಲೋಪ ಇಟ್ ಸೀಸ್ ರಾಜನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಅದಂತ ಅಂಗ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇಟ್ ಡಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆಪರೇಟ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಕೇಸ್ ವೇರ್ ದ ಅಸಿದ್ಧತ್ವ ಆಫ್ ನ ಲೋಪ ಪ್ರಿವೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಕಾರ್ಯಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದೀರ್ಘ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ವಿ ಟೇಕ್ ಅ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಕಾಂಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ of the same shabda say rajnya ashvah this is a samasa we are trying to do a samasa shashti tat purusha the horse of the king so we have rajan ngas ashva su so there is a sutra called shashti which gives the samasa in a samasa the supratyas are deleted by supodhatu pratipadika yohu so we have rajan ashva now this rajan is a pada pada because of the sup pratyaya which was deleted pratyaya lope pratyaya lakshanam and it is of course also a pratipadika therefore we have nalopa pratipadika antasya raja ashva then what happens is the question we need to combine these two wherever there is a samasa sandhi happens compulsorily because samhita is nitya so the sandhi has to be done by akasavarne dirgha akara plus akara to give akara rajashva but the problem is akasavarne dirgha is in the sapada saptadhyayi and alopa pratipadikantasya is in the tripadi so by the same logic which we used in the previous slide sapada saptadhyayi prati tripadi asiddha so akasavarne dirgha does not recognize nalopa if it does not recognize nalopa it sees rajan ashva and you cannot apply it because there is no uh, ak followed by a savarna ak so we need to apply akasavarne dirgha to form raja ashva that is the valid form in the language but nalopa being asiddha to akasavarne dirgha you cannot do the sandhi it is common in any i mean lot of samasas you say rajendhu dilipa iti rajendhu induhu kshira nidhaviva says kalidasa and raghuvamsha there is rajendhu raja induhu iva so there the same problem raja indu so there we need to apply adgunaha which is again in 6187 sapada saptadhyayi all these sandhi sutras are in the sapada saptadhyayi if nalopa is asiddha you cannot do any sandhi after it which is a problem because that is not what we want for generating the valid forms so to solve this problem panini himself creates a sutra which is immediately after purvatra siddham nalopah sup swara samgnya tugvidhishu kruti so what does the sutra say nalopah eteshu chaturshu eva asiddhah anyatra siddhah this is a niyama sutra so nalopa pratipadikantasya being in the tripadi is always asiddha to sapara saptadhyayi 
by purvatra siddham itself but this sutra restricts the asiddhatva of nalopa pratipadikantasya to these four contexts so nalopa is asiddha only with regard to sutras which are concerned with these four operations for all other operations nalopa is not asiddha so nalopaha supsa swara samya tugvidheshu kriti asiddham or asiddhaha iti anuvartate anyatra na asiddhaha iti arthat siddhyati right so nalopa is asiddha to four kinds of sutras which sutras sup swara samya kriti tugvidhi so this kriti goes with tugvidhi so we say subvidhi swara vidhi samgna vidhi and kriti tugvidhi so for these four operations we will see very briefly because we need to see examples you need to know the sutras i'll try to explain them uh, very um, briefly so subvidhi we already saw rajabhyam so rajan bhyam we did the nalopa but then we cannot do the dirgha rajabhyam supicha ityanena dirgha this is a subvidhi because it is an operation which is performed depending on a sup pratyaya so yayado supi pare dirgha vidhiyate saha subvidhi so subvidhau nalopaha asiddha so since nalopa is asiddha this sutra does not recognize that nakara is gone and it cannot operate so subvidhau nalopaha asiddha swara vidhi so again we have an example called rajavati so uh, raja asyaha asti so it is a matup pratyaya where it gets the uh, vakara adesha and so on now rajan and vati there is nakara lopa so we get rajavati here there is a swara sutra called antaha avatyaha wherever there is an avati at the end of a word antaha udattah bhavati the last swara will get udatta swara so avatyaha antaha udattah iti swara vidhi now if nalopa is siddha that is if this sutra recognizes nalopa there is avati here but swara vidhau nalopah asiddhah so since nalopa is asiddha this sutra does not see avati it sees rajan vati which is anvati it doesn't have the ending as avati the nakara is still there because nalopa is asiddha so swara vidhau nalopah asiddhah the third instance is samgna vidhi samgna vidhau nalopah asiddhah which is the nalopah pratipadikantasya is asiddha to samgna sutras so an example given is pancha striya uh, to understand this we need to know about the sankhya vachaka shabdas so in sankhya vachaka shabdas if there is a nakaranta sankhya like panchan ashtan navan dashan etc all these get a samgna called shat samgna the sutra is shanta shat so if there is a nakaranta sankhya it gets the shat samgna and if there is shat samgna there is a nishedha to stri pratyayas so stri pratyayas are pratyayas which are added uh, to words to uh, form their feminine form like we have se kumbhakara ha kumbhakari ajah aja so there are different stri pratyayas now na shatsvasradibhya is a sutra which prevents those stri pratyayas from being added to shat samyaka words therefore these words se pancha sapta ashta nava dasha all these are the same in pullinga and stri linga if i say pancha purushaha pancha striyaha pancha phalani there is no linga difference because a stri pratyaya is prevented by nashatsvasra dibhya 
So the context is there is shat samya. Because of shat samya, there is no stri pratyaya. Now, if the nalopa were siddha, assuming that panchan is an akaranta, by nalopa pratiparikanta siya, we are deleting the nakara. Now, if shanta shati recognizes the nalopa, it may say that this is no longer nakaranta. So, nakaranta sankhya gets shat samya. This is not nakaranta and therefore shat samya does not apply. If shat samya does not apply, we cannot prevent this three pratyaya. So, this uh, specific call out to samya vidhi says, samya vidhau nalopaha asiddhaha. Shnanta Shati does not recognize Nalopa and therefore it will still prevent the Stri Pratyaya even after uh, Nakara is deleted. So that is Samgnya Vidhi. The last one is Kriti Tugvidhi. Kriti Tugvidhi is specifically a Tugagama which is given in the context of Krit Pratyayas by the Sutra Hraswasya Piti Kriti Tug. If there is a Hraswaswara, followed by a pit krit pratyaya a krit pratyaya in which pakara is it say for example we have a kyap pratyaya which is a pit right so uh, say kr dhatu gets uh, kyap pratyaya or even lyap pratyaya Lyap is again a very common pratyaya. So, say for example, we have uh, uh, upa and kr. Okay, upa kritya. Kr dhatu ya is the pratyaya. There is a tuk, takara agama, which is added to form upa kritya. Samhritya. Hr plus ya becomes hritya. That is because of rasvasya piti kriti tuk. Now, for this Hrasvasya Piti Kriti Tuk, which is the Kriti Tuk Vidhi, Nalopa is Asiddha. So, what is the uh, purpose of this? Vritrahan Bhyam. So, Vritrahan is a Shabda. Vritram Hatavan. Indraha. So, Vritrahan Bhyam. We do Nalopa Pratipadikantasya. It becomes Vritraha Bhyam. Okay. Now, on this Vritrahan, there is a uh, Kvip Pratyaya, which is a Pit Krit. So, once we do the Nalopa, Vritraha Ityatra Hrasvasvara Asti. There is Akara is a Hrasvasvara, followed by the Pit Krit, which is the Kvip Pratyaya. So, can we do a Tugagama? If we do a Tugagama, it would become, become Vritrahadbhyam. So, Takara and then become Takara. Now, to this Sutra, Hraswasya Piti Kriti Tuk, Nalopa is Asiddha. So, this Sutra does not recognize Nalopa. So, it still sees the Nakara. And since there is no Hraswaswara followed by the Kvip Pratyaya now, it cannot operate. So, these are the four contexts in which Nalopa is Asiddha, is what the Sutra says. Actually, we don't need to say this specifically as in even by Purvatra Siddham, Nalopa being in the Tripadi, all this we can generate because Nalopa is anyway Asiddha. So, all these examples can be justified even without this specific Sutra because by Purvatra Siddham, Nalopa is Asiddha. So, in all these cases, Subvidhi, Swaravidhi, Samyavidhi and Kriti Tugvidhi, we get the desired forms. Why is this sutra important? For the remaining cases. So, the sutra, as I said, is a Niyama sutra. So, it says, apart from these four cases, Nalopa is Siddha. So, when we come back to our example of Rajashvaha, we have to do Akasavarne Dirghaha, which is not included among those four. It is not a Subvidhi, not a Swaravidhi, not a Samyavidhi, and not a Kritituguvidhi. Therefore, Nalopa Pratipadikantasya is not a Siddha. 
that is the effect of the sutra nalopa supswara samya tugvidhi shukriti the savarna dirgha and any sandhi actually all those sandhis are not included in the blocked list for nalopa so na generally the tripadi sutras are asiddha to the entire sapada saptadhyayi but nalopa pratipadikantasya is not asiddha to complete sapada saptadhyayi it is only asiddha to four specific kinds of sutras for all other sutras it is siddha therefore akasavarne dirghaha does recognize nalopa pratipadikantasya even though it is a tripadi karya therefore after nalopa you can still apply the sandhis all sandhis you, as i said rajashvaha we have savarna dirgha rajenduhu we have adgunaha rajaishvaryam we can do vriddhirechi all these sandhi sutras do not belong to these four categories and therefore all of them recognize nalopa so this is the second exception to uh, purvatra siddham nalopa being in the tripadi is asiddha only to specific kinds of sutras and it is siddha to other kinds of sutras so it is partially asiddha and partially siddha first exception was the apavada is always siddha to utsarga even though they are in the tripadi was the first exception nalopa is siddha to some kinds of sutras in the sapada saptadhyayi that is other than those four categories subvidhi swara vidhi samnya vidhi and kriti tugvidhi nalopa which is a tripadi karya is siddha to other sutras in the sapada saptadhyayi so in the next class we will see another exception to पूर्वत्रसिद्धक्षरसमाधिगम्य महेशरात्कृत्न व्याक प्रोक्त तस्म पाणीन नम वाक्यकारम वरुचि भाष्यकार पतंजलि पाणिनी सूत्रकार प्रणतस्मी मुनि